have a confrontation in towards long here. Valda, oh, gets jumped by these players, just kind of congregating all in. They're going to have a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with Valda. Got to be careful trying to isolate them, but not quite. However, he will eliminate Marbs TRK with the immediate trade. And now the rotations have come over for Ents immediately. Yeah, three players already on the site. Sunburst has taken down one. Pesadello with the immediate trade, though. Now they're just looking for the fight. TRK is swinging out with the Glock, but Snappy is here with the USP. Going to give them the man advantage now, and the T's are retreating. Bomb on their back, and they start to make their way back plat just holding for this upper tunnels push here comes that smoke but the first contact has already been found and now ends they know what's up they can race their way over diha eliminating the bomb and that means that team one have got no chance in the pistol they get to even respond sunburst is trying to hold it it's all onto diha and he is removed by maluk that is the b bomb site open for business and that's going to be the round they never walked into that snappy boost up towards long as well you can see it was being teased out it felt like pasadelo was thinking about maybe walking through those long doors, but thinks better of it. And team one, get there first. Definitely insinuating that attack's coming through. All of the rotations are here though. Every single CT, the flash through, Snappy sprays out on the two. Spots the USP, can't quite close it out. TRK is here though. He's pushing up onto the site, but he's lost his teammates. They're all sitting back, one wrapping through short as well. That can pull everything apart. IDK in the back lines has dealt with some Payas. And Madden, he's now stuck in between these two players. The smoke giving you a little bit of respite, but not enough. It's all now on the IDK. One versus two, he's found one, but he's been dinked down and there's no time, 10 seconds. And he's just hiding. Dihar ducking away, swings up and gets the kill. Yeah, really nice response from Ents. They rotated, they got the information right at the end. Five silhouettes on the other side as Sunpayas holds down. The utility coming through, hits the head of Maluk. Absolutely removes it. He's going to reposition back as well. Snappy is here holding for the drop down and Sampayas as repositioning on ramp. The flames and the flashes are pushing him off at the moment, so he's not able to connect onto another. The leg comes through, but cannot convert. Malbs is there, and that's the bomb making its way to sight. He's now positioning up for another fight, but Diha has arrived. He's looking for more as well. That's two for Diha. TRK and Pesadella are the only ones left. TRK out in the open, all to Pesadella, and he is removed. What a retake by Ents. Even without too much utility, they make it work. Some Pius first point of contact on towards the ramp. Going to be popping straight out. Everyone here, one player holding the flag. Nice HE though, he does a chunk of damage. And Valde on this angle, it's hard to deal with. He was blind, but he still deals with one. He's trying to reposition here, looking for the fight. Pasadella does deal with him, but Madden is still on the site. IDK holding the mid flank though, he's dealt with some Pius. There's an opportunity here, but there's still a player on site. Madden, oh, he's removed Pasadello through the smoke. Fantastic kill. Diha now has rotated over, catches the player moving to back flat, and he snuck through like a ship in the night, manages to find the gap, and now IDK is the only one left. The bomb is out in the open. Yeah, he wants to flush out any player sitting back plat. Would have been a free kill if he could, but there's just too many angles. Snappy snaps one back there. And hey, guys, make sure to check out Cisco Fast the oldest website in the industry. Cisco Fast has many cool price raffles, daily bonuses and gifts for regular users. The website has the biggest variety of different modes, including PvP modes such as Classic where you try to play versus other players or PvE modes such as X50, Poggy, Crash and many other, including my favorite game Tawa where you try to climb to the top and the higher you get, the higher is the reward. Here, as an example, with just $5 I managed to get all the way up and got $212 as the reward. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO fast, don't forget to use my code VLADO to get $1 for free on your balance. Link to CSGO fast will be in the description below. It's the long distance gunfight Snappy, it should favor him and the spray is a little bit labored, a little bit wild, but he does find the first, even looks for more, does good damage onto IDK as well. Yeah, he's barely been tagged, he can keep fighting here, looking for all these kills, is Snappy, can't quite convert them, but he's tapping away, he's doing the damage, TRK is limping as well, even swaps to the USP to try and deal with him, Valde is here to finish the job, Maluk is spotted. And these pistols are going to be cleaned up nice and simple. Snappy, despite those eco kills, is already off to a fantastic start as well. I will say 14 for two for Snappy. Yeah, that's four multi kills for Snappy now already in this game. And Malbs, he's just looking for contact. He's not spotted Valde though. He was playing this position before, but he doesn't go checked. And the spray commits to it and finds two. That is fantastic. Pasadella gets one onto Madden, maybe a little bit over eager onto that peak. That does give Team 1 a way back into this round. Sampai has repositioning though. Player close in towards mid, he spots him, and he's even spotted the second. ITK has picked up the AWP, but they know exactly where he is. 
Utility thrown up to slow down, although it's going to miss. And if he can get past this player in Elevator, there's a way through. Snappy goes down, he can drop the flash, and that bomb can be planted. The AWP in the post plant, this is on. Oh, he's planting as well for long. But that's exactly where Ents are heading. They're even throwing flashbangs towards Short to keep his position, to keep him locked in. But look at this reaction. This is perfect. IDK, the internal timer, it's ticking and he removes some pious. But is he going to be ready for Valde? Exactly in the same position, creeping up close. Swap into the Glock. Oh, he's so worried, IDK. So many angles to clear Valde. Creeping, but IDK hits the shot, nails it and gets team one a third. What a round from IDK. That was down to a two versus four. They find that opening on Madden, peeking in towards short. He's up towards long here. Does have Madden supporting from sight, and Sunrise has found the opener. The flash two for Valde is perfect. Gets one. This trade out immediately, but the rest of his teammates are falling. It's now just Malbs. Making his way out through long. We throw his teammate for the 1v3. Can he do the same? Gets spotted though, has to fall back because the bomb needs to be collected as well. He's just calling it over. Look at Madden's position. He's gone all the way wide to try and receive this in the spray. It just doesn't quite work out. Ends locking another. Snappy going for the spray, but Sun Payas with the flick removes TRK through the basket. Madden's tucked into Goose as well, so the bomb plant can't even go down. Luke's found one through the smoke, though. Masadel is looking to do the same. Valde gets a little awkward. The fight can't quite go his way. Dihar runs out of ammo. Mouse is brought low. Madden's still in Goose. This could all be just... Cemented in. Madden's even going to go hunting. Look at team one. They've moved away. Left one player here just tucked in towards Gandalf. But the final destination for team one is going to be over towards B. No one's home for Ent. This gets weird. Pasadel has picked up an AK as well. So this bomb, as long as they can get through doors, this should be a good position to be in, especially if Maluk hits a shot like that. Now they have to deal with him. He's always going to be in that back line. The bomb can go down and Maluk is just holding him towards mid, but he's not with. Diha does find him and now they can go ahead with this free take. One flash. Some pirates potentially set up Diha for success. Look at this boost. He can potentially come over. It was spotted. That's information given over towards Ents, but that bomb is already starting to tick down. There goes the flash. Pesadeo, not quite with the spray. Dihar finds both. Ents locking a ninth. Got another try there. Molly not going to flash off Snappy. He's going to spot the run boost. Still the first play as well. The bomb is dropped as well. He's taking the fight. And then they have to deal with him. He's still stuck in here. Another Molotov comes through. This one does catch him, but he just stands in the flames. Gets one kill before he's dealt with. But still a 3v3. The bomb can be recovered. It can be. Look at IDK. This whole time he's been locking off this late rotation that Ents has been throwing in, thwarting Team One's plans in the past, but this time to no avail. 40 seconds left. Maluk scoping up and over. Dihar might be flashed through, and he is. Can't quite connect the shots through the smoke. Pesadeo lucky to be alive, but that's where some Pius finds out that short lurk of IDK. Pesadeo just creeping up here. Molotov's good, gonna force Madden away. Straight into the firing line potentially, but his bullets rain true. Maluk, one versus two. Peeking on over, has to deal with Sampaius first. Almost on the line, but Sampaius is holding it. Gonna deal with him, no 1v3 from that AWP today. Can't quite be spotted, but maybe as it fades, there's the opportunity, Tiaki fight, finds Diha. Valde has to make his way over, but he's in towards window. If he gets pushed off here, there's a way through, but Snappy is already here, the nade. Deals with one and Valde deals with the other. Three versus three. And there's still this player in Pasadena out towards top mid. He's catch up everything but Madden. He's just going for the fight. TRK deals with him. Two versus three now. Valde just walked into the site. He's found both and some players is holding for Pasadena the whole time. What a round from Valde. He just takes that. Decides to think better of it. That smoke blocking the vision of his support from short. Drop a smoke now and that's it all this push through. Oh, he's gonna find him as well. Caught off guard is mad and has found Malps through the smoke though. Now he's gonna be pressed. They're all coming through. The timing is fantastic. Maluk deals with Valde. But Dihar is still on the side. He's still alive. And he's dealt with everybody. The bomb has been dropped. IDK eventually finds him once again. Two versus two and Snappy is close in the smoke. Pasadelo. It all hinges on what he can do here. That bomb. Gonna make its way to the site and be planted. But look, he's being cleared. He's here, but he wins out the duel against Sampayas. Zappi in here, and Pasadelo hits it. What a round. Team one, they will take four. Moving over into the second half, we're gonna see how this one plays out. They need to rush this one. They've got two player advantage. Smokes start to come out now. Snappy, he's in charge of throwing all these ones. Time to get the kills and 
with throwing the smokes. Some Paris is going to find Pasadelo, IDK and TRK. It's the battle of the triple letter acronyms. And they are out here taking the fight, actually. IDK finds that first one. This bit caught out here in the open, but he's still hitting these one taps. Dihar eventually deals with him, but TRK is hitting them by himself. One versus two now. He's found his first kill and he's forced back. Has to play a more passive line, and that's where Valde strikes. Tell you what, though, considering that was a two versus five, if I'm not mistaken, the fact that. They've got the double scout, triple D gun. Some press is just taking contact. He's going to force through in front of this smoke, but can't quite convert the kill, and he's going to keep fighting forward. Scout tags do the damage, though. Take him down. There's another player low as well. Two of them, in fact. These scouts doing so much work. Now, IDK can just hold into the corner here. The bomb is going to be planted close, and IDK cannot deny this. Yeah, so difficult to get in already. As they are dropping out the smoke, Valder dispatching with IDK on the other side of the window. Too many players in the bomb site ready for Team 1 to contest. It's always difficult trying to retake this B bomb site on Dust 2. With only one smoking incendiary, doesn't look too hopeful. Valder even just taking further fights that should be 13 in Team 1. They're going to run away and try and hold on to their weapons. Yeah, keep setting the full health player to take the fights. Deha doubling up. Malfs is the only one remaining. We know what his dig is all about, but, well, he might get a couple of exits here at the very least, but even that is not going to happen. Madden is there to shut him down. You can see how much they are limping. All three, well, three of those four players on. We see them find some entries, looking for more. Look at this aggressive stance for Pesadello as well. Double up short for Team 1, but immediately flash back. The Galil is just going to deal with him. Malouk gets one on the way out. Unfortunately, is allowed to survive. That's where IDK steps in, and this looks a whole lot better for Team 1. That's a fantastic response, having IDK immediately able to respond to that aggression up towards Xbox. There's only one player on the side. IDK has made his way over. The spam through does a little bit of damage. And now he's being peppered here, but he gets the spray onto Deha. That's a huge kill to find. He's got an incendiary as well. So this bomb plant cannot go down yet. Madden, a lot on his shoulders. Sunpass has made his way up to try and support his team, and he finds the opener onto Malv. That is huge. Now for Madden, he can make his way towards site, but he has to get past another AWP on the CT side. Yeah, it's difficult. In amongst all the commotion, Team 1 have rotated. Two players out towards short Madden. We'll be able to punch in the digits. So that's the bomb plant at the very least. The flames, they are going to spread to him. They are going to force him back. He just tucks in towards Goose. It's all on some pious here to take the first contact. Yeah, it wasn't planned for him, so he has to go for the fights. They're setting him up with a flash, though. And he's just going to walk out for the peak. Deals with TRK. Now he's looking for the second, but IDK is here. The flash doesn't catch him. All now onto Madden. IDK is spotted, trying to jump peak. Does damage onto Madden. Almost deals with him. In fact, it's another jump peak that comes through. IDK, another clutch round, and it's going to keep Team 1 in the game. Yeah, that's the experience shining through for IDK on this Team 1 roster. When it comes that hinge smoke, TRK's found Valde. That's out towards the B-bomb site. That's a huge kill to find. Dihar's response is to go out towards Long. There's a player in towards Pit, and he's been jump spotting. He's been spotted. That fam ass on to Malbs. That's all he has to work with here. Madden's pressing the issue in towards Short as well. He's just aggressed up. Manuk gets punished, doesn't drop off when he misses that opportunity. And now the player in pit has been dealt with as well. It's all on Pasadelo and he's found one, but can't quite get a second. Snappy deals with him. Now it's a player advantage, four ends. The flank is coming through. That could catch them off. But once again, it's IDK and TRK to get it done. Dostly duo for team one. And some pious, he's just tucked around the corner. In fact, it's Snappy on the AWP, but it might not even matter. IDK with one, but Snappy with both. Bales ends out of a tight situation and get themselves onto 15. Yeah, Snappy with the quad kill. You wouldn't believe that he's the star rifler now. Maybe that was the entire point of these roster changes. He wanted to put himself up into that fragging role so he can be top of the leaderboard. He wants the glory because, well, he's showing it here today. I think 24 kills so far in this game. A dominant performance from the IGL events. He's on the deagle. See if that can come into effect because Ents, they are trying to split through middle, but it's the two Famuses to do the damage. Both chiming in with a kill. Madden's gone up and over, jumping in towards spawn. Maluk hasn't spotted this, so it's actually be everything. Yeah, it could be the downfall of Maluk. Now, so on this push, doesn't quite hit the shot, and Madden in CT spawn, he is not accounted for, doubles up, puts it back into a three versus three, and Pasadelo's dealt with as well. Madden is doing everything. So Pius, he's locked the bomb in over towards Short, can now scope up towards Long as well. It's just the Deagle and the 5-7, and well, that's the better pistol. Remove TRK with one, but not the follow-up. So Pius steps in, and Entz win out the best of one. They take the first map, first game here at ESL Challenger in Rotterdam. It's a dominant performance from Entz. We're going to throw it to a very short break, and we come back to desk. We'll break this one down.